How are you? Hey. Good, how are you? All right, everybody good? All right, questions for Coach Cohen. Did you win that? I just uh, ran a couple gassers, <laughs> finished about last on all of them, so I'd say the answer is no at the moment, but uh, just trying to get a little conditioning in and take some of this weight off. What you see from day one? Solid. I mean, um, guys coming off a couple of days off, it was nice to throw and catch. I thought we threw and caught the ball fairly well. Um, did some good things in the run game. I mean, it's going to be one of those games. Um, and they've got some guys out, but they're, they are who they are. Uh, they're a good, sound defense, and we need to play physical, you know, SEC style of football. I mean, that's at the end of the day, we needed to defeat man coverage on the perimeter. Um, and I thought we did a good job of it today as a good start to this week. And guys came out with some good energy, so it was a good start. Are you always kind of curious how they're going to be when they come in and they've been off for a little while? Always. Practice yes. And then in that aspect, what... Yeah, I mean, you know, when you have a long day of travel yesterday and kind of get in a little bit later, uh, but the guys were eager to get out here. Uh, you kind of felt guys itching to, to try to get on the field today. Everybody was kind of early getting out there, which is a good sign. Um, I, I thought the guys had some good energy, um, you know, the little bit of slow footed at times, just kind of getting back into it. But that's why we did some of the extra conditioning. And uh, I, I was happy with the way they came out and their their attitude, enthusiasm, uh, carried out through the majority of the practice. Coach, what does it mean to, to know, and you've known for quite a while, but what does it mean to, to know that Ray Davis is going to be there yeah. for you? And, you know, there's a lot of teams that are really being affected yeah. by the portal and by NFL. Right. What does it happen to Ray Davis back? And yeah. then just in general, what is it about the culture of this team that these other guys want to come back and play that one more game? Yeah, it's, it, it's a, huge, a huge deal for us to get Ray specifically back, a guy that can – uh, do great things in the run and pass game, right? He's, he's you know, done a great job for us being an asset, you know, leading the SEC in touchdowns. Uh, that's been huge to get Ray back. It speaks to the caliber of kid that he is. It speaks to his character um, and, and his passion for, for this program and for his teammates and for the community. So um, very thankful that he's, he's stepping in and, and doing this in, in, in an era and a time, as you mentioned, that a lot of people aren't doing this. Um, you know, he, he's somebody that I'll always uh, be grateful to, to have had the opportunity to coach. He's one of those impactful kids. And um, culture-wise, I, I think it's pretty self-explanatory when you have guys wanting to play in this game, wanting to finish this thing off the right way, regardless of wins and losses, records. Um, you're playing a high-quality ACC opponent, one of the teams that have won a national championship over the last 10 years that has Heisman Trophy winners. I mean, this is a great program that we're playing against. I think that that is something that adds to this. Um, and also having guys jump in the portal and then jump back out and come in. And I want to be a part of the program, I think, because of what Coach Stoops has brought to this program over the course of his tenure here. Um, guys want to be here. You know, you don't have guys leaving every, sec every single second. What's it like to see the guys like Luke Wilson? Yeah, it was awesome. It was awesome. I, I didn't have the opportunity to coach Josh, but man, what a pro, what, what a legacy that he left in this program. Uh, you can see the guys obviously are all drawn to him um, be, because of who he was, who he is, what he did for this program, but also what he's done for himself thereafter. And then to see Luke, uh, man, he looks lean. He looks lean and looks great. Uh, couldn't be more proud of a player that uh, had played guard his whole career and then moves to center. Um, and now he's a star in NFL center for the last two years, man. I mean, just, it doesn't get much better than that. Uh, one of the highest quality kids I've ever coached. Coach on the Clemson's defense. Yeah. They lost some guys after the regular season. Yeah. Still have Tyler Davis. <laughs> oh, yeah. Still have Peter Woods. Yeah. Are those guys to deal with? Yeah, it's a young, they lost some of those guys, as you mentioned, but man, they've got a ton of really good, good youth on that defense. Uh, very well coached. They're, they're disciplined. They're very fundamentally sound, and, and they can fly around. They're very physical at the front, at the uh, first and second level. Uh, they're physical in the back end, really. I mean, this is a huge challenge. Really, when you turn this tape on, you're watching an SEC caliber defense. You're seeing a top 10 defense in the country run around. It's a huge challenge for us. We've got to do a great job staying on track on first and second down so we don't put ourselves uh, in third and unmanageable. That's when they're really... Uh, kind of at their best is when they got you in third and long 
and they're you know teeing off on you, playing man coverage behind it. That's a, that's a huge challenge. So we've got to do a great job on first and second down and also finish drives with points in the red zone. And their thing's stopping the run. That's, that's sort of what they do. Oh, yeah. There hasn't been many teams that have run it very successfully on them. Some of the teams that have, have had a lot of quarterback scrambles or quarterback design runs. That's not really who we are. Um, you know, they, because they pack the box, they'll put seven defenders in. They typically like to have an extra hat in there for the run game. Um, that's something that we need to make sure that we're able to make people miss. If there is an extra hat, I do trust Ray to be able to make some of those guys miss um, and force them to tackle. So um, if they are going to pack the box, we do have to win on the perimeter, get the ball on the edge, and let our playmakers go make some plays. Big time. Yeah, it's a huge challenge for those guys. You know, I mean, obviously we finished the Louisville game off the right way, but um, we need to be more consistent, whether it be running the football or protecting the quarterback uh, in this game because they have elite players at all three levels of the defense. So um, when you have elite players and elite talent, we've got to be able to step up and, and rise to this occasion, which is a great opportunity for these guys coming off a big win against Louisville for us to go get this eighth win. Hey folks, we need to uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, guys.